بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بائی فرنس ویلکم ٹو انیدر ویڈیو لیکچر بائی کامی بیالو جی سو ان دی پریویس ویڈیو لیکچر ایف یو گائز ریمبر بی ٹاکٹ اباؤٹ دا ایم ایچ سی ون مولیکیول دا اوور ویو دا بیک پیکچر آف ایم ایچ سی مولیکیولز اینڈ بی ٹاکٹ دا سٹرکچر آف ایم ایچ سی مولیکیول اینڈ بی آلسو ٹاکٹ دا پروسیسنگ آف ایم ایچ سی ون مولیکیول ناؤ دس از دا سیکنڈ ویڈیو لیکچر اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ دا پروسیسنگ اور دا سینتھیسس آف ایم ایچ سی ٹو مولیکیول سو لیٹ می رائٹ Now how the MHC2 molecule are synthesized? For the synthesis of the MHC2 molecule, again we need the structure of the cell and with the, uh, within the structure of the cell we need the cell membrane, we need, uh, gol uh, we need Golgi body, endoplasmic reticulum and uh, we need uh, Golgi body, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes uh, and uh, we need some other structure, we'll be talking uh, right now. So first of all what actually happened, we have a pathogenic bacteria, let me start the lecture so first of all we have a pathogenic bacteria first of all let me draw the cell membrane here So let's say this is the cell membrane and remember we already talked that MHC2 molecule are always present in antigen presenting cell. So this is the antigen presenting cell let me write here pink cell. Let's say this is the macrophage dendritic cell or B cell. Now this antigen presenting cell will engulf the bacteria. In this case we have also a bacterial cell. So let's say this is what this is the bacterial cell. So this bacterial cell are engulfed by the antigen presenting cell through phagocytosis process. So it is get internalized by phagocytosis process and then we get a phagosome. So let me draw. Now phagosomes is a combination of uh, uh, cell membrane and the bacterial cell. So we have what we have, this is the cell membrane portion and this is the bacterial cell. Okay. Now after that, this phagosomes will fuse with the lysosomes. So in this case, we have also lysosomes. So let me draw the lysosomes here. And they contain hydrolytic enzyme having the pH 4. So means it is acidic. Now once this phagosome and lysosome are fused together, so after that what actually happened? After that this bacteria is uh, break down into small fragments. So bacteria is now break down. That's it. Now once the bacteria are break down into small components, uh, after that we have another cell structure we call that uh, endoplasmic reticulum. So let me draw. So let's say this is the endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, and this is rough endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum and all of you better know that rough endoplasmic reticulum have a lot of ribosomes but here I will draw just one ribosomes again so this is the small subunit and this is the large subunit of the ribosomes now this ribosomes will produce uh, a kind of proteins or the product uh, which are specially essential for the MHC2 molecule so they will synthesize the MH C2 protein. Okay, now this is the let's say this is alpha 1, this is alpha 2, this is beta 1, this is beta 2. Okay, this alpha 1 and alpha 2 having weight. Okay, 
this alpha uh, uh, subunit having a uh, weight 35 kilo delta similarly this beta 23 kilo delta okay and when they are combined together so we get 34 and 23 okay. then we get what we get a 58 uh, kilo delta complete mhc2 molecule so this is 58 kilo delta complete mhc2 molecule after that we have also another protein we call that let me draw here a protein this is another protein which can block the uh, binding site of mhc2 molecule okay now this is called now this protein is called as id or cd 74 protein this id or cd 74 protein will block this binding site of mhc2 molecule to prevent the antigen to bind at that specific area now after that uh, this mhc2 molecule are shifted and released out from the uh, endoplasmic reticulum so this will be also released out from the endoplasmic reticulum now once it is released out from the endoplasmic reticulum so then this molecule or this msc2 molecule will pass it from the golgi bodies so so once the msc2 mo molecules are passes from the golgi body we get the endosomes this is the we get the endosomes now inside the endosomes we have what we have the uh, <clears throat> again we have the mhc2 molecule now this protein uh, this mhc2 protein this endosomes is slightly acidic so they are what they are slightly acidic due to this acidification this protein are break down into small fragment but this cap is still uh, remaining you know this protein this id protein are break down into small fragments so id or cd7 protein are break down due to this acidification which is present in the endosomes and after some time what actually happen just only this clip is remaining so just the clip is remaining so after that uh, inside the uh, after that they will bind with another protein we call that uh, we call that hla dm protein so they bind with let me draw This is the HLA DM protein. Now, once they are bound with HLA DM protein, so then the clip is removed out. So then this clip is what? This clip is removed out. And finally, we get a free, complete MHC2 molecule. So this is MHC2 molecule free MHC2 molecule complete free MHC2 molecule. Now after that, this MHC2 molecule will fuse with this phagolysosomes. Now once they are fused with the phagolysosomes, so the antigen or the fragments of the bacteria which is present inside the phagolysosomes are, you know, uh, shifted the specific antigen in this case the specific antigen are bind to this mhc2 molecule so we get a specific mhc2 molecule so let's say this is what this is the specific antigen which is bind now after some time this uh, complex will you know uh, this complex will release or this complex will fuse with the cell membrane so again let's say this is the what this is the cell membrane and 
this complex are fused and they will express this complete MHC2 molecule. Okay, now once these, uh, uh, once this uh, MHC2 molecule are, you know, expressed from the antigen presenting cell, so then they will also carry this antigen. Now this cells waiting, now remember, in the previous video lecture we talked that the cell is infected, which is the nucleated cell. Okay, in this case, this is the antigen presenting cell. This cell is not infected. After some time, this cell may be infected, but usually it is not infected. So after some time, the, this cell is waiting for the CD4 cell, or we call that helper T cell. Now this cell is waiting for the helper T cell. Helper T cell, this cells will secrete a kind of cytokine which call upon the helper T cell. So at that case, we also get the helper T cell. So let me draw the structure of helper T cell here. CD4 cell or we can say helper T cell. Now this helper T cell have their own receptor. One receptor we call that CD4 receptor and the other receptor we call that helper T cell receptor. So let me draw here. This is the first receptor. They will just check. This is the first receptor. This one receptor is called as CD4 receptor and they will just check the MHC2 molecule. Whether this cell representing the MHC2 molecule or not. This is the job of CD4 has, uh, receptor. After that there is another receptor we call that uh, T cell receptor, helper T cell receptor. So this is the helper T cell receptor. Now this helper T cell receptor recognize the receptor of MHC2 means this helper T cell will then recognize the MHC2 molecule having the antigen. Okay. Now after the recognition, after the recognition, this helper T cell will call upon the B cell. B cells will convert it into plasma cell then plasma cell release out antibody which is specific to this antigen or bacteria we can say and after that the process are under the control so that's how the mhc2 molecule are synthesized and processed and remember in this case this cell we call that antigen presenting cell and this antigen presenting cell is recognized by helper t cell okay and we call that cd4 cell in the previous video lecture, if you guys remember, we talked that uh, this, uh, the cell was, what the cell was, uh, uh, nucleated cell or any kind of nucleated cell, okay. And this, uh, uh, this cell was recognized by the CD8 cell, which we call that cytotoxic T lymphocytes, okay. So both are different to each other. So what actually we have, first of all, this is the bacterial cell. The bacterial cell are engulfed by the phagocytic cell through a phagocytosis. Now once it is engulfed, we get the phagosomes. Now from the phagosomes, the phagosomes are fused with the lysosomes. Lysosomes contain hydrolytic enzyme having the pH 4. After that, once it is fused, so then the bacteria are converted <coughs> into small fragment now once the bacteria is converted into small fragment then they will activate the endoplasmic reticulum after that once the endoplasmic reticulum are activated then the ribosomes are activated now this ribosomes will produce uh, proteins we call that msc2 proteins now this msc2 proteins will synthesize the msc2 molecules this msc2 molecules having weight 58 kilo delta and they have weight and moreover they have also this id or CD74 protein. This ID or CD74 protein will block this binding set of the MSC2 molecule. Now after that what actually happen? This MSC2 molecule are then shifted 
uh, and passes from the golgi body now once it is passes from the golgi body so then we get the endosomes this is the endosomes now inside the endosomes there are also the acid or due to this acidification the id protein or cd 74 protein are break down but the clip is still remaining now how this clip is released out this clip is released out when this protein are bind to this hladm uh, protein once it is you know reacted with this protein so then this clip is also released out now after that once that this complex are shifted to the plasma membrane and after that uh, the mc2 molecule are expressed to the plasma membrane surface now this this cells is waiting for the cd4 cell cd4 cell are come closer and they recognize this antigen having their own receptor we call it cd4 receptor and we call that helper t cell receptor now after some time this helper t cells are you know uh, this helper t cell will produce more helper t cells and after that we get the b cell and after that we get the plasma cell now from the plasma cell uh, plasma cell will release out the antibody the antibody are specific to that uh, bacteria and after that the process are under the control okay so that's how the synthesis or the processing of mhc2 molecule i hope you get the idea about the mhc2 molecule that how it is synthesized and if there is any qu kind of question in your mind so you can write it into a comment i hope you understand about this video lecture if you like this video so make sure to hit the like button share this video and subscribe the channel and uh, also stay tuned because in the next video lecture we are going to talk about the difference between msc1 and msc2 molecule on the computer screen thank you so much for watching